SharePoint on the web, there's a way to move files and folders to other folders within a SharePoint site. And you can even move files outside of their current site and into another one. Let's look at how this works. There are a couple of warnings needed for this feature though. So please stick around until the end before attempting this yourself. When you hover your mouse over the file or folder you want to move, this triple dots button will appear. Once clicked, a drop-down menu will also appear. The option we're interested in today is the Move To option. Once that button is clicked, a pop-up window will appear where you can designate the new location of the file or folder. At the top of the screen, you can see what folder you're currently in. To the left of that, you can see what folder the current folder is in. And it goes on like that, depending on how deep inside a folder structure you are. In the sidebar is the My Files option. Once that's clicked, you can choose a destination in your personal OneDrive so you can make the file private. Underneath there, you can see all of the SharePoint sites you're a member of. If you click one, you can move the file or folder inside that site and choose a folder inside there. Does the folder not exist yet? You can create a new one by clicking the New Folder button on the top right of the screen. Once you're done selecting the new destination for your file or folder, click on the Move Here button at the bottom of the screen. SharePoint will now do its magic and move the files or folder to that destination. You can check the status of this operation in the bar at the top of the screen. The length of this operation will depend on the number of files you're trying to move and the size of those files. Your files have now successfully been moved to their new home. All right, now comes the part where you learn some of the dangers of moving your files around like this, especially between SharePoint sites. Not everyone in your organization is part of the same sites as you are. So, if you move a file or folder that one of your coworkers needs access to into a site that they don't have access to, they will lose access to those files. It's also possible that people have synced a SharePoint site's file library with their PCs, meaning that if you move a folder or file out of this SharePoint site, those people's files might get out of sync, meaning that they will be stuck with an older, local version of the file. So, when you move files and folders around in SharePoint, and especially if you move those files or folders to a different site altogether, notify your coworkers so they know what's going on and so they have the opportunity to stop you in case moving those files or folders will cause problems for them. Now that you have the warnings, you're ready to go and try this out for yourself. Good luck.